There I am. <laughs> Good evening, YouTube. I'm not wearing the sunglasses to be cool, by the way. I'm wearing the sunglasses because you get too much screen time and your eyes start to go bloodshot and stuff. So I'm checking my messages here on YouTube. Okay, so it it's been a productive day, I must say. Um being that I posted three videos. Um so the don't yeah, I don't wanna save the changes. <clears throat> the um the thing that's been kind of cool to me is that I've been quantifying, and I, I did say this, so if you've read the comments on my prior videos, you already know this, but um, sort of quantifying how long this stuff takes, you know, how long does it take to, um, you know, create one minute of broadcast quality finished anime well that's a fair question how many how many keys how many drawings does it take to make one minute of a finished project well we know that basically the average screen time for any given shot is about three to four seconds average it can be longer it can be a lot longer actually when there's dialogue and it can be a lot shorter when there's crazy action going on and some of these quote-unquote shots are certainly divvied up into multiple frames. But, you know, it's like any any movie or show that you edit. It, it seems to come out to around three or four seconds. So if that's the, tr the case, then one would then do some quick math and determine that about 15, well, let's say 15 to 20 drawings should constitute about a minute of actual screen time okay so <clears throat> which then begs the question what exactly did I do today well let's find out um, and by the way also my calculations really aren't taking into account stuff that I'm still learning and that goes wrong like you saw some kind of a stupid motion blur effect back here that just this one works okay, but the earlier one didn't work at all. It's like, okay. Um, so, but if the three to four second concept holds true, and the question is, what exactly did I do today? Well, one, two. by the way, or level. Okay, so I'm, I'm at 140 with my pencils. Pencil test, if you will. Pencil drawings. Let's see, 138, and I started at... Uh, 87. So let's just pretend that I started at, let's pretend I started at 88, that makes the math easier. So 138, from 88 to 138, is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now, I don't think the three or four second rule holds true, because if that's true, then I did two and a half minutes of anime. I, I don't believe that for a second, so. Only time will tell. But what's definitely for sure is that I did m at least a minute. I'm sure of that. And so, I guess, which kind of begs the question, what does that minute consist of? Well, Ninja One stands and then Zen reaches over and grabs his sash and 
pulls it off and by the way I should I should point out that when I was inking this I added an extra keyframe where he so he kind of goes like this well actually sorry I'm going the wrong direction boom 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 okay so then a car is like what are you doing and so you get some dialogue here between these guys. Obviously it looks kind of simplistic now because there's no shadows. And it's, I tell you, shadows add a lot of production value. So the contrast between what you see up here, you know, versus it's, it's you really got to use your imagination, folks. So, so anyway, I did what did I say about 50 50 drawings about 50 frames of animation and then I started inking and I inked for about an hour because again I'm trying to sort of figure out how long does this stuff take and so I was pretty happy with the progress on the ink that I got up to okay it looks like 105 so we'll pretend it was 108 if it was 108 it'd be 88 98 one so there's 20 frames in an hour so if i had inked for two hours which is basically what i did as far as the pen well i guess i i penciled for an hour and a half it no it was probably two hours so if i'd have inked for two hours it would have come out to a little less so the progress on the inking isn't quite as fast as the initials sketches but that's okay <clears throat> so Thus, we are here, and got my martini, and we're just gonna rock and roll. Get some, uh, get some inking done. So I feel pretty good about that. So it'll be interesting to see who shows up tonight. It looks like. According to YouTube, I've got one person watching, but I have a YouTube window open. And to this, at this point in time, I still haven't determined for sure if YouTube's counting me as a viewer, which would mean that I actually have nobody watching me right now. Well, come on. How many people really want to watch somebody sit in ink? Anime. Well, that's a good question. The answer is I don't have a clue. So, I guess I'll find out. <laughs> but I figured as long as I'm going to be working on it, I might as well fire up the live stream. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about the locator, but I will say that because I've been talking about it in my individual videos but here but I have been talking about the locator a lot because here, here's why and somebody actually asked a question on the last video that I posted what do you use locator here for well here it is this is what I use the locator for you can see it and this is actually a quintessential example of why I like the locator because I just drew this and it basically looks closed but if I go over here in the locator it's not and now it is and that is the difference between an area that's going to fill cleanly versus leak which means if I try to fill his hair up with the color of his hair what would have happened is it would have went ahead and filled in the whole screen because of this stupid leak right there and leaks have been the bane of the ink and paint process for me it's the thing that makes it not fun because because they happen so often that you're constantly you're trying to make progress and you're you're kind of uh, starting and stopping all the time to go address leaks so i have been downright enamored of the um, locator tool so here's here's another example where it's useful okay right here i not only have a leak that i can solve but also um what's kind of cool about the it's really a well-conceived tool because what it does is no matter where your mouse is, it always stays centered on the mouse. Unless you put your mouse over the window. If you put your mouse over it, then it behaves like any other drawing window. 
which is like exactly what you would want because then I can go in and oops that's not a very good circle there is it but, but you know it makes it just dead easy to catch problems as early as possible and as I said in my comments on the last video as far as my calculations go if you counted up the number of leaks when you're doing flood fill operations which in filling doing the color is the most time-consuming part of the process okay if you were to add up the number of leaks that cause you to have to stop what you're doing find the leak and go fix it yada 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 I would estimate that for this one frame I would find somewhere between 10 and 20 leaks it's that big of a hassle and with the locator window open and by just referring back to it frequently that number of leaks has dropped to an average of one because I, I, I did go ahead and do the color on some of these frames that I'm inking right now I did the color work on them earlier specifically to test you know is the locator actually helping me as much as I think it is and in 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 my average number of leaks dropped to one in fact it was no more than one or less than one in every frame that I colored of which there weren't that many so it wasn't a super scientific study but basically one leak really see there's one right there <laughs> another leak so yeah so that's proving to be quite the uh, quite the cool tool alright so now I'm gonna just click down here whoa I must have hit the L key I did my bad my bad so let's just scroll down and get back to where we're supposed to be here folks okay now going down one B key easy peasy I actually drew this hitting the H key like constantly while I was drawing this guy so that it, so that I <clears throat> I effectively kept flipping the canvas like that so I could do the same basic drawing operation over and over almost as good a benefit as mirrored drawing but not quite it's close now I am not gonna draw a hard line underneath his eyes I'm gonna so there's a leak that I'm gonna leave in place on purpose and I think I'm gonna give him some angry eyes So, to kind of answer the, the locator question also, one thing you can do is, you know, if you get your hand out of the way, you can just scan it. Like right there, that's a great example too. Now, admittedly, you could just keep zooming in all the time. But I've, I've said in other videos, I'm trying to move towards more often actually drawing at the resolution that the audience is going to see so I'm not kind of fooling myself into either putting in too much detail or not enough so as much as possible I like to I like to leave the frame at the actual size I've just kind of figured it's a good discipline for me to learn the skill of being able to draw at a fixed size even whether I really want to or not you know So I'm just going to check that with the locator. Yeah, looking good. All right, and this guy's going to be... Whoa. Got 
got that one right. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna leave that all black. That's fine. Okay. So next frame. Boop. Okay, so now I I have to admit this section is probably not the most It's probably the weakest part of the scene, I have to say. I'm it's not weak enough to completely rethink it or whatever, but definitely well in my second video that I, I think it was the second video I posted today I sort of had to it's 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 a speed draw so it's going by quickly but you can see that I actually redrew quite a bit of this and because it's basically a really difficult shot in the sense that you're your your camera's sort of dollying around but I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna have to do it as separate shots it's just not it's not realistic or economical to, you know, dolly around in 3D space. Uh, that would require a zillion in-betweens. And so, I mean, that's not a bad thing, but it's a lot of work. And so you better be sure that the production value is going to make it worth it, you know. And I sort of decided... Um, Zarco 1794 is the locator new. I don't think it's new. I think it's probably always been there ever since OpenTunes was first released, I suspect. But it's just one of the... You, you click this little magnifying glass right here. And, and I literally spent two hours trying to find it because I had stumbled across this tool weeks ago. And I thought, okay, that's like the stupidest tool ever. You know, it stays centered. It's not like you can draw while you watch in that window very well because the way it stays centered, it's really awkward to to watch it while you're drawing on the main the main viewport. So I just dismissed it as being sort of a who, you know, who would use that kind of thing. And then but man, once I got into all this ink and paint, I realized holy cow, that little locator thing that I thought was so dumb might be really useful to be able to see a close up because I was getting so many leaks. It was really frustrating, I must say. Um just leaks leaks every other time I would try to fill an area with color it would leak and spill out into you know the rest of the page or whatever it was a major problem uh, to me <laughs> so now it's like I'm constantly like I'll stop my mouse right there and if you lift your mouse up or your curse or whatever your tablet stylus if you put it down in the locator window then the locator window stops centering on your cursor and it and you can just draw on it and work any of the tools you can do anything you can do here you can do here it just follows it until you go into it and when I, I saw that I'm like golly man that's that's like brilliant you know that's super super stupidly useful by the way it looks like I put this guy's leather strap on the wrong side of his so so what I'm finding is I'll go like this and then I'll just put my mouse over this area right here and I can see right there Right there is probably a leak. That probably would have leaked when I go to fill it. So it's it's like coming in handy all the time. I mean constantly. And I think it's always been there in open tunes. It's just one of those little <clears throat> I think that there's a lesson here that I've been learning over and over, and it's this. With with animation software, especially a tool like Open Tunes, which is actually a fairly old piece of software, even though it's been only open source for a short period of time is a lot of times these very pedestrian kind of goofy little tools that seem that they're not sexy you know it's not a sexy tool who would who would think this is you know it's just like taking up space on the screen and but a lot of times what you find is these tools that are not sexy are actually the most useful it's the stuff you come back to again and again that really saves you time and you'd never know it until you try to do what I'm doing which is a fairly large project you know you get into some really you know hundreds and hundreds of frames that you're trying to paint and all of a sudden these little utilitarian tools you can see why the developers put them in there because you know that there were animators that were using tunes back in the day and said hey guys can you add this feature because it seems like it would really save us a lot of time if we could freaking well see when we've got a leak going on <laughs> so you know this is what I always find with open tunes you can tell it's software that that was it was it was 
programmed by animators for animators. At least I believe that's the case. I don't really know that that's true, but it certainly feels that way when you use it. But you have to kind of go deep to appreciate it. If you if you just if you just poke around at the edges, you know, kick the tires of the software, you'll never get into a situation where the demands of the project would call for, you know, some of these certain tools, you know. So with with open tunes, usually that has to do more with things like um Oh, just just the schematic, the way you can, the way you can. Actually, I was thinking about redoing the way I drew his leg, but I think I liked it better before. Um, so here's another thing with the locator. I jump over here, and I can really make sure I get that erase spot on, right? So I think that's it's a big win. Big win. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Um, so his hand is kind of out like that, so we'll give him some indication of fingers. Uh -huh. Got my, uh, my martini. My dirty martini. Okay, so now here's an example where I would probably tend to just draw the whole thing in the locator, actually. I kind of come up here and it's like, okay, let's... And by the way, the locator can be zoomed as well. So if you if it's zoomed in too far, you know, you can... Uh, like I said, all the tools that are that you can use here, you can use in the locator as well. So, pretty straightforward. So, yeah, and it's nice. You sort of see it update over here. and uh, I can see that I forgot the little... I don't know what you would call her hair thing. It's not exactly a bun. If anybody knows what the proper term for that sort of hair thing is, well, let me know. Okay. And... We can do this because it's anime. <laughs> right? Sometimes we render our character in, in different ways in order to just convey an attitude, and you can sort of get away with that with anime. That's one of the nice things about the anime um, medium, if you will. It's maybe a little more flexible and forgiving than some other kinds of animation that one might do. got the indication of her other hand. So right there's another leak spot. If I come back here, I bet you it's just replete with leaks. Yep, we got one there. Uh, uh, maybe not replete. But definitely a little bit problematic. Boom, boom, boom. So one of my little goals, it's probably a silly goal, but has been to try to get the speed that I can execute all of these operations up to a level kind of similar to what you would expect in a in like a speed paint. Um, <laughs> it's probably insane, but you know, I mean, if you if you kind of know what you're doing, you should be able to go pretty fast, right? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, did I get it all in there? I guess we have a little bit of an indicator here of her bosom, and we also should indicate the top of her nighty. And again, right there, look at that. Right there's a leak. That would have gotten through in the past. Solved. And right here, too. Well, no. Yeah, actually, that is. That's a leak, too. Man, I tell you. Kudos to the locator. I love it. Okay. And I think we're good here. Maybe Zen's muscles should be delineated just a little more. I like using these My Paint brush pencilish brushes for inking. And I guess Zen's face is kind of important to get in there, isn't it? 
And I'm trying to always trying to always keep a level of detail in the drawings consistent with what we would that's that's why I'm looking I'm watching this at the actual you know television resolution of that screen so that I'm sort of uh, oh you know what this is wrong this is wrong I just detected a glitch I had a I had a version of this earlier where I was thinking I was gonna actually have him in like these skivvies but that's wrong this is supposed to be sort of a uh, more of a robe kind of thing, so so that's fine, easy to fix. And okay, how'd that get zoomed out so much? Yet another leak. All right, let's go downstream one and hit the B key. Oh wait, actually I just saw another leak. Right there. Okay, cool. All right, back to ninja one. I have my ninjas numbered. Where is it located, tool locator? It's right here. It's this magnifying glass right there. This is what got me. This is why I spent two hours. I was trying every menu option. I was trying every button to find the stupid locator. And my problem was I was assuming that this was uh, for zooming in on the on the view. I, I assumed this was a duplicate, essentially, of this. But then I kind of noticed, well, they're two kind of different icons. Maybe this is... And sure enough, there it was. So, pretty crazy. It's a leak-free zone. Okay, and here I actually want to just come in here and that's probably cool. I have to confess, this guy's ponytail has sort of evolved since I started working on this thing. In the earlier uh, cuts, his ponytail was a little thicker than it is now, so that'll be our secret. We'll see if, once we release the actual episode, we'll see if people notice. They probably will. <laughs> So yeah, animation, what are you going to do? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, and here we've got this, I'm going to go ahead and patch that with the locator. Might as well just kill the details while I'm here, same here actually on his head. Yeah, I've been really surprised how often I'm, like, jumping over the locator. So, I wouldn't be crowing about it as much as I am if it hadn't proven to be so stupidly useful. Okay, just check. Checking, checking, checking. And actually, that I'm not really happy with. It's a, it's a little, uh... A little bit scribbly. Okay. Back to Zen. That's a leak, sure enough. Boom. Alright, and I'm just gonna. So, yeah, we're keeping the. 
keeping this well I don't like that keeping the drawings really simple ish you know my natural inclination is to make things more detailed than they actually need to be for an anime and they're I think you know as I watch an anime look closely at the the individual frames and stuff you know, sort of freeze them and study them there is a sweet spot there's a, there's a detail sweet spot in anime that seems to work okay let's do a car now and we're gonna do her in the locator boom 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 she's gonna be just like I said it's really tempting to draw her more complicated than she is here but I mean come on this is this is what you're gonna see in fact yeah I mean I don't like the, the line there I think I did that a little sloppy but yeah there we go okay so this is gonna be and again just checking that yep there's a leak boom Oh, they're all over the place. So, yeah, details, details, man. Okay, so now this is... This is the clothes that she's... Or the robe, I guess you'd say, that she's holding on to. And... So, there, that's cool. And her leg is... Ah, that's not a good coincidence. happened to line right up with his um, fingers. Okay, so there's a leak right there. Boom. Okay. I'm going to kind of give myself a little bit of latitude on this one. Just kind of now I better double check here. It seems to me he took the sash. Mm. Now this is again one of those cases where I I bite what what okay pressure's bad. Huh. You know what? What I'm using is a. XP pen digital artist 15.6 inch and it has been absolutely flawless in fact I have two of them I, I bought a second one to use on my other computer just because I liked it so well you know Wacom I mean I've got a regular standard tablet that's Wacom but my sense is that you know, you just pay a lot more for Wacom, and I don't. I I think maybe a few years ago it was definitely better, but I don't think it's true anymore. The competition has really caught up. But that sucks. You're having trouble with the drivers. You might want to try installing the new drivers, or you know, see if there's updated ones. Okay, so I don't actually think I'm buying this positioning of her foot, but on the other hand, I don't think it, I mean, this is going to go by pretty quick. I don't think it probably actually matters much, but Yeah, so at this point, I don't think I would probably, I don't think I'd probably buy a Wacom. In fact, I'd, I'd probably give all my business to XP Pen just because I've been so happy with 
this tablet screen. Okay. Okay, now this is her hand. So there's sort of an indicator of the fingers. I'm going to have to go in and clean up the leaks here in a minute after I sort of get it blocked in. So, you know, because it, it's just too hard to get it right. You know, whereas if I go over here, I can see it plain as day. It's easy. Tighten that up, tighten that up, close that, no problem. It's kind of brain dead easy. So, yeah, I'm going to bring this down like that. And there's her. This is probably the first. Do you know Archer? Yeah, great show. That's funny. Funny show. Love it. Now, the last couple seasons I haven't been watching so closely. I, I think I watched the first three or four seasons and um, but yeah, that's that's a fun show. Of course, it's really not for kids. Um, but but I you know the writing is good, the voices are good, the animation isn't my favorite style, but they did a really good job of economizing and finding a way to you know produce it pretty economically. They use After Effects for most of the actual for the animation which is kind of unusual, but that was what proved to be the best tool in their toolkit. I'm not a big After Effects fan because when it comes to compositing, I'd rather um, I'd rather have a node-based interface uh, kind of like the like this, you know, like the schematic in OpenTunes is much more flexible than the stack paradigm, which After Effects is more of a stack paradigm. But yeah, I haven't watched Archer in a while, though. I'd like to—I need to catch up. I'm probably about two or three seasons behind, actually. <laughs> Some of the stuff those guys do, it's just. Bull neck, big shoulders. Um, I didn't put that line in the right spot, did I? So I often find I, I do this as I as I when I'm inking I correct. Cause sometimes sometimes the pencils are just really, really simplified because I know I know what I can draw, you know, I sort of know what I'm going to wind up doing when I go back in there to, to ink it. Now, this scale right here is kind of the most difficult scale to draw at because it's it's a little too small and it's um, you know, on my actual screen, from here to here is probably about, I'd say two, two and a half inches. So this is this is actually a case where I should forget about the locator and just not be stupid and just zoom in, you know, <laughs> just zoom in and get the job done, right? Now well, that was a mistake right there. B. So yeah, the idea here is that these guys are just sort of encircling each other. I'm gonna have to go in and. Uh, to see what I was thinking on the guy's legs. You know, in the detail on the hands, this is an example of where, you know, this this is going to go by really fast. You're not going to be thinking about whether you can see his individual fingers. It just doesn't matter. Sometimes it does matter. It just depends on how long a shot's really going to be, you know, on the screen. So, here's another locator situation. I can go in and just uh, take my eraser and oops, E key and then if you hit the alt key you can if you hit the alt key and just move your mouse the er eraser will resize 
frankly I wish all the brushes did that but they don't just the eraser does kind of a bummer back to the B key slash brush to make stupid noises when I start trying to go fast. Alright, this is a good example where flipping would not be a horrible idea. Just because I'm right-handed and I do tend to draw these guys' heads lopsided if I'm not careful. And this guy was clearly a little bit lopsided. Um, That I don't like. Let's just break a piece away here. There we go. I'm going to put his eyes in shadow and see if that looks okay. Let's go to... Yeah, yeah, that actually looks fine. That's where it really pays to... Um, go, go to actual size and see what the audience is going to see because you may well find out that you're putting in way more detail than they're ever going to notice. Um, seems to me this is flipped. Wait a minute. Come on, flip. There we go. Alright, so let's look at the last frame. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to use cuts, so I'm going to say... This is tricky. This is not inking. I'm not inking right now. I'm drawing. Because I really have to see it in my head. And think about. Yeah, that didn't work. That sucked, actually. That sucked pretty bad. Okay, let's let's back up. I, I really was remiss in this case. I should have uh, I should have gotten this more complete at the uh, at the pencil test stage. So let's just do that right now, so that we're not fighting it. All right. So really, what have we got? Well, we got his waist right here. There's his hips. Okay. And what is he doing? Well, he's presumably he's maneuvering around. So I'm thinking he would be sort of taking a step sideways, maybe? Let's try that. And frankly, maybe we need more frames. We should put in a couple more keys. And... Okay accept that oh yeah oh boy I did commit the cardinal sin here because I've got this guy mm, I've got this guy actually weaving back and forth so I have to get the leg motion right here okay this is a let me really think about this. Okay, the good news is we're going to be able to copy and paste the stuff that I drew. Um, however, let me just think about this for a minute. This is not, like, simple. Hello, mouse. Boom. say work from the known to the unknown so I'm gonna presume that we cannot see his feet so I'm gonna say this leg went back and this one crossed 
No, that's not what would happen, though. I actually think... I actually think... I know. I've got a better idea. Okay. I think... I want to keep this guy anchored. Meaning... He's weaving back... So this is the key drawing right here. I'm going to, uh, I wish I hadn't inked that, actually. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to turn the ink layer off for now. So that I can just focus on the drawing. Because this is definitely, okay, right here. So here's what's, what I'm thinking is, this is the key drawing because this is where we can. Um, you know, I'll just turn the locator off for a moment. Okay, this is where we want to anchor his his weight, and his legs are kind of apart. So the idea is that he's he's kind of spread out, right? Okay. And then what would actually happen here, I can still leverage this drawing and use it twice, but I think this should be a little closer, and he should be leaned like this. So yeah, so that this action can actually be just what I said, a weave. It's a weaving thing. It's a little less extreme than I had it. Yeah. Like he's, okay, what are you going to do, buddy? What are you going to do? Okay, that works better, I think. Okay, so then if we start here, if we say his knee is there, then his knee's got to stay there. This knee, he could still be stretched out like that. That works. Okay, let's keep that knee anchored. Yep, that still works too. Okay. Curve out. Straight. Curve out. Okay. Down. Like so. There we go. So it's just kind of a... It's probably not the best piece of action I've ever animated, but, but the idea is that this guy is sort of just kind of, you know, what are you going to do, buddy, you know, kind of thing. A somewhat threatening bunch of motion. And honestly, I think I like it. Okay, so let's put this here and thank goodness we can't see his feet. <laughs> You know, I, I, I'm gonna sound like I'm making excuses here because I kind of am. You know, when you watch anime, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff like this in anime where it's like they really were hurrying, or you know, whatever. It's like you're not really buying the the quality of the drawing. I mean, this is like on major, major popular anime. That's true. I mean, the standards sometimes go pretty low. Now, there's other aspects of it where the standards are really high so <laughs> so like I said I don't want to sound like I'm making excuses but you know what are you gonna do I mean it's such a complex motion that you'd almost want some video reference you know I should shoot some video of myself doing it to see okay what would the body really do and that's not a bad idea actually to do that sort of thing get some reference material <laughs> But I actually think this is going to play just fine. I have a little pouchy thing there. So, Alright, so... Grr. Whether this is going to be attempted as a camera move, I don't know yet. I think not. Probably what's going to happen is 
this shot will get cut from the show. And we'll just have this, and with with Zen moving his hand back to push Akari back, and then we'll go to this shot. Ah, what are you going to do, buddy? See, th th that plays. I mean, that works. And we can just use those frames over and over. And... Huh. 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 Okay. So the only problem with this, I would say, is that in this shot... Let me see if there's another, yet another one. No, there isn't. Okay. So the problem with this is that this shot is just a little too... He's drawn just a tiny bit too small. So I'm not buying the idea that this is a continuation of what I was just looking at. So I'm going to move that there and see if that does the trick. Yeah, see, now that worked. Look at that. Was I right or was I right? That worked. Will you hand animate the hair or will you use an effect for hair cloth? Oh, golly, I'll, I'll hand, hand animate it for sure. I mean, okay, it depends on what you mean by an effect. I mean, there are segments earlier in the show where I, I use the plastic tool to animate the guy's ponytail, if that's what you mean. I have no problem using the, the plat put, you know, just create a bone chain right here, and it's just way faster to animate. You can add a lot of secondary animation that way. Uh, in an earlier scene, I just put the guy's ponytail in a separate level so I could animate it separately, and it, it made it really fast and easy, actually, to... Okay, so, I don't know. I might want that shot of Akari. We'll leave it in there. I can always cut it later. Okay, so this guy... Yeah, because, I mean, in the secondary animation isn't isn't like it's hard to do. I mean, for example... Okay, so what we would have here is, okay, we just go like that, and then of course it's going to fall back down. Now, if you were going to use this frame again, then of course you'd have to put the ponytail out this way, right? But, I mean, it's really easy to do. Super easy, super fast to create that sort of secondary animation. And you get a lot of, you get a lot of production value out of that, honestly. So it's kind of a double win because it's fast and it's easy. Uh, and, it, and yet it looks real good. So let's turn this back on. And look at what we've got here with Mr. Ponytail Guy. And it looks to me like we got to do a little resizing. Or a little, not really resizing, but just reorienting. Okay. So we're going to put him here. Check something. Hmm, that's interesting. While the selection tool is invoked, it becomes immune to turning the level off and on. I never knew that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, now we got the right brush. Now their the ninja uh, costume is really really dark, so it is not as if there's a lot of detail required there either. By the way, okay, let's turn the locator back on so I can just double check. Looks pretty good. That might be questionable. We don't want any leaks going on and that is a little sloppy. I am HO hitting the alt key so the sh when the alt key is held down you can just dynamically resize the eraser. Quite handy. Okay. And actually I would say this area here looks kind of ugly too, but mm, I think we're probably okay. Cool, and remember his costume is black, so. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna steal from ourselves. We're gonna grab this. And by the way, don't forget about those fingers. Alright, let me get that right now. Oh, 
Okay, that was a fail. As the term goes, an epic fail. Okay, so. Got that. Control C. And then what we need to do is go down. Hello. Here is going to be the. Well, actually, we just should hit the D key and the D key. And the D key. And actually, that secondary motion uh, is in fact there, as a matter of fact, because I put the I put the one pose in there twice. So what I'm going to do is erase this little piece of his hand because I know it's going to get chopped out. And then, actually, you know what? There's something else. I think that I've chimped out on this guy's face. So. I, I chimped out. I'm going to fix this. I think I really chimped out, and I don't want to chimp out, so I'm actually going to zoom in, and let's let's do a quality job here, folks, right? Okay. And I can just scribble this in since it's black anyway. Got a little problem there. Boom! Okay, fix, 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 okay. So now what I want to do is give him some more ominous eyes. Bam. Okay, does that work? I think that works. Okay, did I flip that? I believe I did. Okay, let's go to hit the end key so we get actual size. And unfortunately, oh man, you know what? I'm going to redo this. Let's go here, take these three, and just delete them. D, D, D. Because I, because I redid his face. You got to be, that's the thing you got to be careful of with copying and pasting. If you make a mistake and you copy and paste it into 17 other frames, then you sort of just created a lot of work for yourself. Um, okay. I guess we'll just... Okay. 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 We'll, we'll just do it this way. Erase this. You can always redraw it, right? It takes just a second. Okay, so there's that. Let's rotate that so it looks like it is where it's supposed to be. It looks like that lines up pretty well. Okay. And now let's just go hog wild with the eraser. And then we're going to definitely want our locator back. So we can look closely at some of the stuff that's almost surely going to be problematic here. Like that. And here, let's just go ahead and draw us. Um, boom, boom. So much easier at large size to get the drawings correct. This needs to be erased and redrawn. You know, cutting and pasting between frames is it's kind of a mixed blessing. Sometimes it if something's definitely not going to change, then it it always saves you time. Like these guys, they're the same in all these shots, these four frames. But if something's got to be amended a little bit from shot to shot, so you you make a duplicate just so that most of it's already done for you, sometimes fixing something takes longer than just drawing it. Okay, so this comes back to what I mentioned earlier about secondary animation. Okay. So this guy does, in fact, have a ponytail flying around. 
Okay, let's just see what the next frame has for us. Okay. And I am going to do exactly what I just said. Because I feel like I'm pissing in the wind a little bit here. Uh, trying to reuse this drawing. It's not like the drawing's that amazingly great anyway. So a little bit of, you know, variety isn't going to hurt a thing. So... With that, I'm going to go ahead and even change the orientation of his head a little bit. Okay. And let's just zoom in, fix that. Obviously, I screwed that up pretty thoroughly. Okay, that's better. Alright, flip it back, go back and check the pre- okay, yeah, so. Oh, that's cool. Looks good. Okay, so now, back to secondary animation. If this goes like this, yeah, then it's- hair is going to pop back down and then when we get to this this shot uh, it looks like this is actually just a duplicate meaning I actually have the same drawing being referenced here twice so I'm not going to worry about the hair at this point because that's just not that big of a deal Let me check one thing here yeah we have a apparently a missing mask this drawing okay and I guess his little leather pouchy thing should kind of sort of be there right I'm gonna leave that leak there because this is these are both the same leather from one drawing to the next so I feel like I've actually got my um, locator zoomed in a little too far actually And we have a leak there that we can fix. And we got to shrink that eraser down to size so we can go. Okay. So I guess coming back to the question, I probably will actually do some secondary animation with like the plastic tool or something downstream a bit. For now, good shape. Just doing some doodling. Okay. about his hands. Okay, so he's got that, he's got the wraps, and then he's got the little glovey things he always wears, and I don't remember if I did those. I guess I did. Okay. So... Ten minutes. Wow. Well, 
was amazed how much time I, uh, you know, I'm a little ADD, so I'm always amazed at myself when I actually manage to stay focused on something for as long as I have been. Okay, cool beans. Now, This guy's not all that muscular. I think I must have been drawing his Zen and got carried away and gave him more uh, buffness than he actually deserves. So. I mean, the guy's in shape, don't get me wrong, but he's no Zen. Am I right, people? Of course he's no Zen. Going. We'll go in and check, double check things with the locator here in a little bit. I'm going to check all these edges and borders with the locator. And I know a lot of them are flawed. In fact, I'm actually kind of deliberately drawing them um, unconnected. Just because I know I'm going to I'm going to do a I'm going to do a, a check step here. do that some of these really minor details I can put in at that point so right here it's probably cool no leaks no leaks aha uh -huh. there's a leak right there's a leak I guess that one was pretty, pretty obvious. Good. Well, I guess we got this little area on his hand that we need to address. Is he supposed to have those glove things on? So, give him his wraps. He's got his wraps here. This has been bugging me, though, so I'm going to fix this. Alright, let's just go in over here. And do that correctly. Okay. Looks much better. Okay. It looks to me like we've got a major glitch here in the fact that I gave him sort of Daffy Duck feet, which is kind of ill-advised. Patch that up like so. Come in here. Okay, what's the next frame? Boom! Boom! I'm getting pooped. I think it's because I already did about... Um, I'm probably... I mean, not to be a whiner or anything. Not to be, like, super lazy. But I've probably drawn for... Pretty close to five hours today. And I do get a little fried after a while and want to kind of go do, do other things. So, 
so obviously I say don't be a whiner only because I mean obviously a lot of people work for a lot more than five hours and some people their job is to draw anime <laughs> skirt kind of thing. It's not really supposed to be a underwear kind of situation. So make that change right now. The reason it's drawn incorrectly is because there was a different version of it earlier that I was that I thought I was gonna use. And turned out not to be the case. There's some leaks. Leaks, leaks, and more leaks. Boom. Looks like I don't think anybody's watching, actually, because if I'm not mistaken, there's only one watcher, and I think it's me. <laughs> means I am not abundantly popular tonight. I am not as popular as I am on some nights. That's okay. I'm just putting it out there. For those who might be interested. Eh. Keeps a kind of ongoing record of the development of this project. There's a leak. Boom. And All right, let's check that for leaks. That looks pretty good actually. Let's draw this very simply so we're not putting in over detail or too much detail. This is what I'm trying to say. that up. Well, it looks pretty good. The only thing left is Akari. to be drawn up close. Just got a little too close. And is that? Yeah, that's Zen, but that's in front of him. So that's, this can actually be... Like so. A 
Okay, and we really need that leak to be closed because that puts the border between her skin and her ass. Okay, that could all be her hair color, so I think we're in good shape. So just the little bit of this muscle embellishment and thing actually right here I think that we want a little bit of curvature there yeah let's just go ahead and clean that up right there okay what do we got next oh yeah oh yeah this is a fun pose stroke, wasn't it? Boom, 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 boom. So, Zen's getting ready to strike. He's getting psyched up here, folks. Okay, and this, no leaks, no, no leaks, okay, okay, and this could go like so, paste the the ninja from the other frame fast. Detail there. Little detail there. Looks like my live stream might have gone funky. this here is that this hand is the hand that's holding the, the uh, cloth material so let's just extend her arm this way all right and so whoops we lost our lost our spot so let's do that and then we come back here and I'm gonna make a slight change here to lower her hand Okay, and we need to hit the eraser. Oh, that's horrible. Come on, Dave. That 
needs to be stopped right there because we gotta have the cloth that she's holding on to. Okay, so that's pretty good, although I think it's possible we've got a leak right there. And there. And there. So now one thing here, let's hit the E key. And just make that into a unified shape. Okay, that's better. And then, let's zoom out a bit here. Uh, because in the previous frame, yeah, Mr. Ninja Guy can simply be stolen from this frame and paste it into this frame. Just gotta fix this little jobby there. Wait a minute. Yeah, bad move there, Dave. Erase, 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 erase. Okay, hit the B key. Let's get this line right. There we go. Okay, and... That's stupid. I'm trying too hard to do something that is essentially impossible and kind of dumb to even try. What I should be doing here is going to this frame, hitting the S key and just simply copying this. And if I catch a little bit of Akari's uh, character there, yeah, see I can clean that up easily right here. So, B key, little eraser, little brush, and all of a sudden now, perfect, right, perfect. Okay, so she sneaks behind, and this is actually a classic example of what I was talking about earlier about detail. That eye in this spot right here looks good, but at, at, at actual size, it's, it's wrong, it's too detailed. It actually was going to look kind of stupid. That's better. I would say yeah yep that's better sometimes simpler is better so anyway uh, that's it the next sequence to ink is going to be where he clocks Akari, which should be fun. He pulls back and boom, Biff's are but good. And he realizes he did it. But then he goes ahead and takes his punch, boom, boom. Meanwhile, there goes Akari, and then Zen comes, hey, are you okay? <laughs> so, file, save all, and I should kick myself for having not actually been saving very often tonight. So tonight, I don't know who all was watching, but we've got Zarko1794 and Sam Myra Pastel. And uh, thanks for hanging out, guys, and I think that is it for now.